Okay, bud, so I want you to introduce yourself, uh, yeah. name, height, and weight, and what show you just got finished with competing in. My name is William Butcher. I go by Buddy or Butch. Uh, I am 5'6", and I weighed in at the show at 178 pounds. My current weight is 182 pounds. Um, I just finished the John Simmons Classic. <clears throat> um, I competed in uh, men's classic physique and men's bodybuilding. I took uh, three first place trophies in classic physique, novice, 35 over for masters and open. And for bodybuilding, I took first place in novice, masters over 35, open and overall. Okay. And how did you get into uh, bodybuilding and the fitness things? But was it like high school sports, or how'd that go? So I've always been an athlete ever since a young child. But um, the funny story is, when I was in personal training school, my instructor was a competitor in uh, figure, and we used to travel around watching her compete. And I always thought it was really cool. So it took me a long time to finally convince myself, but. Um, Finally, I, I took the plunge and figured, hey, let's try out this bodybuilding thing and see how it works for me. So that was pretty neat. Um, but like I said, I've always been an athlete. I've, I've wrestled, played football, uh, basketball, baseball. I've coached wrestling. I've wrestled. Um, I'm also a Marine. Um, and on top of that, before I was even certified personal trainer, I was training people from the Biggest Loser TV show. Um, I trained the at-home winner, I, I was the at-home trainer for the season seven overall winner of the show as well. Helen That's Phillips. very cool. So that was pretty neat. Yeah. Wow. Oh. And that was before you started competing? Or before that was way before I started competing. This yeah. was back in 2009, 2010-ish. Okay. So. so when did you start adding size, bud, for the, like, or that was just last year when you that were That was like, about a year ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What were you weighing before that, like before you? So I've actually, the last couple of years, I was about 200 pounds. So I was beefy, but I wasn't cut. Um, it wasn't until I found my coach that um, I actually was able to um, find what I needed to do to make everything work for my body correctly. My coach brought me in perfectly with my diet and my exercise routine. And who's your coach you're working with? My coach is uh, John Simmons. Okay. He's a yeah. wonderful man. Very good dude, just mellow all around. Very mellow man. Also, uh, well, he was a Marine also, wasn't he? John Simmons is also a Marine. Yeah, and a cop, which, very nice. And a cop, which yep. makes it even better on our workouts because he pushes me to my absolute limit. Yeah, he's not a no bullshit kind of guy <laughs> no. when it comes to anything <laughs> like that. Um, what's your split like, bud, when you're training and stuff, like a normal week and stuff? How does that work for you? So we start off, let's start off with chest day. So um, we go from chest and try to back and by, right into shoulders and then leg day. Um, and those, ex or those days change exercises every time. But uh, yeah, always chest, back, shoulders, and then legs. And we rotate all the way through every time really no variation and that pretty much would go straight through the show just yes. and are the movements basically the same or you switch up some days like or? some some days the movements will switch up just to change the routine so it doesn't get boring or old um, or if we see something that's lacking we're able to hit that muscle group a little bit harder yeah um, okay what um, so what was it like how do you I know you um, off camera we're talking you said you lose weight pretty well like how was it uh, putting on weight and how was that like in dieting, like your diet pre-show versus as you're coming down and stuff, how was that? So putting on weight was actually really difficult for me. Okay. Um, I really struggled. I managed to get up to about 215, um, which was a lot lighter than I wanted to be. I wanted to get up to about 230 and then be on stage at about 200. Mm -hmm. um, so I got up to about 215 and then I cut down to 178, which was the easy part. You would think that gaining weight would be the easy part for most people. It wasn't. I just couldn't keep all the, the food down. You think you could just have a crazy metabolism in general? By my that? metabolism is nuts. Yeah. Um, my metabolic rate is through the roof. Yeah. And it's not bad for a 42 year old guy. Yeah, I was gonna say like you've one of like kids usually have like your yeah that's awesome. Right. So, um, how about so you were if you were conditioning and you're. You probably didn't have to do cardio a lot then or anything, right? Or so I didn't incorporate cardio into the last month or so. Um, oh my God. Right. And <laughs> People were doing cardio like 
four or five months out, so you know, and crazy. Wow. Yeah. So, and I never had to eat fish. Yeah. For this, so I ate all the way up to the day of the show. Yeah. Um. So there was maybe four or five days where my carbs got cut pretty hard, and then I did one day of really one day of water cycle. Mm -hmm. Other than that, that was it. And then just through the, like a carb load for the show. Then and then we carb loaded for the show the day of and the day before. Awesome. The night before, I really, because I got, as my wife mentioned, we got to have some cheesecake the night before. That's made the night and then before pancakes, the show. Pancakes the day off. It was beautiful. <laughs> That's awesome. That's very cool. Um, what do you do? For, uh, what's for your career now? But like as uh, your day job and stuff. So I'm a program manager at a company called Ditech North America. Okay. Um, and we build um, tooling for all the automotive industry. That uh, so we build the tooling that stamps the outer body parts. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. Like all the dies and stuff. For yeah. All that. So we build dies. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, and those are for people who may not know. Yeah, they're like the, the molds for the cars and stuff there like that. There you go. Yeah. 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 So I try oh. to break it down a little bit. Yeah, I know, definitely. Um, and then what what's the plan again? Uh, we talked off from what show are you going to get ready for? So you? my next show is going to be, I'm going to do the Masters um, in Pittsburgh in July. Okay. Um, so I, since I am now a national qualifier, I'm going to go for my pro card. Good deal. And this is, that will be your second show This ever. will be my second show. This well, will be my second time on stage. That's awesome, man. I mean, it was, I was out in the crowd shooting the show and people were very impressed. And when you came out, it was just evident you were going to do well that night. So your condition was on point. Good size, but still a good shape and tiny waist and all the things you want to see. So it was, it was really tough. And like we had mentioned before, if it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't be where I am today. She really pushed me really hard. Yeah, so. that's got to be, it's, a, it's always a team effort, and a lot of people don't realize that at all. Right. So, um, People you'd like to thank, what coaches, like your wife, anyone oh, else? Oh, boy. So i got to start with my wife, because my wife is awesome, right? So um, if it wasn't for her pushing me at home and keeping food out of my mouth, or pushing me to go to the gym even when I'm tired, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, obviously, my coach, John Simmons, he's a fantastic man. He brought me into where I am today. Um, he took me from just a guy that likes to lift weights into uh, essentially a champion for my first show. And going for my pro card for my second show. That's amazing feat. Yeah. Um, and then also I got to throw out another thank you here to uh, my chiropractor, oh. Dr. Raymond Hillebrand. He did the show with me too. He was, I was going to say, I that, I, that name sounds really yep. familiar. Okay. Yep. So um, him and I text each other every morning. Hey, how are you doing? What's going on? Do you want to get a workout in? How's your food? How's your water? So we, we really kept each other in check all the way up to the show. That's nice. And you have a say you can ideas or an eye to bounce it off to if, if you can't get hold of John or someone. And, yep. You know. He's, he was an amazing man. He's definitely helped me out a lot. Very cool. Um, how long did it take you, bud, until you were... Like when you started training to get up to, you said that you were at 200 was your highest then? So I got up to about 215. Okay. Um, but I had, my starting point was like 200. Okay. Um, so I really only gained about 15 pounds. Okay. Um, and that was over the course of about five months or so. So that's why I'm saying it was it was very tough for me to put on the weight. My yeah. metabolic rate just wouldn't let me keep that food on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throw that weight on. Um, I was burning it faster than I could eat it. Yeah. And I was up to all hours of the night trying to eat or keep it down. Yeah. It was just a lot of food. I know most people with your type of metabolism you talk to them, they, they said they just get, you get so sick of it. It's just mm -hmm. constant. And, um, luckily, it sounds like you have a job where they're pretty cool with taking your shakes or meals. or. Yeah, so my boss is really cool. Um, and so I got to thank my boss as well. So uh, he's been very patient. And um, he's allowing me to take some extra breaks and eat my food and things like that. He understands what I'm what I'm doing. Um, he's a gym rat himself, so that really helps. Oh, cool. Very yeah. cool. Well, uh, good luck at the show, man. 